I am of a belief that if we all cooperate with one another, if we all help one another, we can have a better society, a better community. At the heart of the upper room is feeding people or helping the most disadvantaged sections of our society. Food is a good thing and from a good thing comes all positive stuff. Once you get people to talk about the good stuff, you can get their, their motivations, what takes, what doesn't take, how you can help them. And that's why we had different kind of projects. The UR for Jobs program comes from the food program. People can't get jobs. Why can't we help them? What's their problems? Maybe it is about how to write your CV, or it could be they don't have references. The same with the ex-offenders. They would say, I haven't got any qualifications. Oh, I want to drive. There's a lot of people who do want to, you know, learn to drive, you know. And if we didn't have something like this, um, you know, we'd be, everybody would be stuck, really. Well, what's unique about the UR for Driving scheme is the very low reoffending rate. Uh, once people are involved, we find that uh, the incentives to go along the pathways to crime are much reduced. One thing that helps is the fact that they're doing work for the poorest people in our society. They're finding the food, they're delivering the food to organizations that are helping people that are really have nothing at all. And so very often this has a rehabilitating effect on people who realize that uh, they're not as bad off as they sometimes think and that they're people that they can help. Uh, the feeling that they can contribute. These are members of our community. These are brothers and sisters or sons and daughters of our community here. They have skills, they have gone somewhere wrong, and we believe that giving people another chance. How was the driving? It was right. easy enough. Traffic? Traffic was light compared to the snow just started, so. And the way that we approached them is, can you help us rather than can we help you? I think it's the opportunity to help people to get back into society again when they've, you know, they've been through horrible times and terrible bad luck or whatever it's been. And actually, you can get people back again with the right sort of support and encouragement and helping people to get their self-confidence back. I had years where I was still on the drugs and so on like that until I decided, you know what, I don't want this no more. The upper room is right at the heart of what the church exists for. It is expressing tangibly uh, the care that uh, we, the church, must have for our community uh, in partnership with people, whatever their background, whatever their faith, we're working together to alleviate some of the most significant needs that exist right on the doorstep of this community. I've been cooking for about uh, 35 years now. I started off in Holland Park actually, a long, long, long time ago. Decided to go freelance about eight years ago and haven't regretted it. I don't think they eat prior to coming here at 5.30. And, uh, you know, it's cold, it's damp, and whether they live under a bush or in a hostel, it is vital. As we all know, food enhances our lives, keeps us warm, keeps us going. It's fuel for the soul. We're going to probably cater for about 80 or 90 people tonight, maybe more because it's such a cold day outside. So we've got a nice warm lentil soup, which we started earlier. And then we go over here. This is um, the chicken that I had marinated over the weekend um, in olive oil paprika. Paprika is very good for chicken because it gives a bit of depth and color. Potatoes are important because they're good food for these gentlemen. So it's going to be lentil soup. Poulet aux herbes et pommes de terre. And I sometimes get ashamed that when I see people sleeping in the street when we are able to house people or feed people. But you are kind of satisfied by saying, at least I did what I can do, and that is feed people. It's a daily process of miracle making. And this is a fantastic experience for anyone to experience as a mentor, as a teacher, to empower individuals and to inspire them. That's what motivates me. The Upper Room is a community-oriented organization. It is supported by the community. It, it is at the heart of the community. Every support that we get is from the community. And that is very important to me.